Bruno opened his eyes in wonder at the things he saw. In his imagination, he had thought that all the huts were full of happy families. Some of them sat outside on rocking chairs in the evening and told stories about how things were so much better when they were children and they had respect for their elders, not like the children nowadays. He thought that all the boys and girls who lived there would be in different groups, playing tennis or football, skipping and drawing out squares for hopscotch on the ground. As it turned out, all the things he thought might be there weren't. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, written by John Bowling, is a fictional story told through the eyes of nine-year-old Bruno. Bruno is a young German boy, the son of a distinguished German military official. He's absolutely distraught at the recent move that his family has taken him on. As he discovers his new home, deeper political and social issues hover around Bruno, but they are anything but apparent to him. The novel follows this naive young adolescent through his exploration and journey to discovery. As he explores, he discovers people living nearby that only wear striped pajamas. Bruno befriends a boy similar in age that lives behind a tall fence and who wears those same striped pajamas. As the story unfolds and this ironic friendship develops, readers are given a glimpse into the Auschwitz concentration camp setting which is the harsh reality of this novel. Bruno's lack of understanding of this horrific setting is compelling to readers. The novel provokes the reader with deep issues that surround this historical time, like identity, social climate, civic responsibility, and personal freedom. Bruno and his friend learn about each other and about life through their friendship. The book follows the unlikely couple as these two young boys eventually end with a terrible and surprising twist of fate. Readers are left with a helpless pit in their stomachs as the weight of the Holocaust reality captures the innocence of our main character. This novel is compelling, challenging, and thought-provoking, perfect for our middle schoolers. And then the room went very dark, and somehow, despite the chaos that followed, Bruno found that he was still holding Schmel's hand in his own, and nothing in the world could have persuaded him to let go. What a powerful novel. Now it's time to apply it to our classroom. Starting with middle school math. Math students could dive into the exponential number of lives affected by the Holocaust. One way to apply that is students graphing population trends and relating that to the social climate of that day. Also, language arts. Literature classes could jump into this text and dissect its parts. First, discussing points of view, biases, foreshadowing, and the value of historical texts within our view of history. Teachers could also provide reflection journal prompts for various chapters. This would enhance the emotional lessons paired with historical content from the novel and challenge our middle schools to be analytical in their thinking. Then social studies. The ideas are endless. Students could write from another fictional character's perspective, considering both political and social sways. Students could debate each side of a highly controversial issue during this time in history. Students could piece together a timeline of events and relate back to the historical context within the novel. Students could also compare and contrast people groups that were divided by social fences to those of today's time. 
Thanks for watching. I cannot wait to use this novel in my classroom.